know it. Today I'm going to talk to you about Rotax Racer tips and tricks. And with that, we're going to talk about removing and replacing the muffle packing in your Rotax Max muffle. First off, you've got three bolts or general pop rivets if it's a genuine muffler. Remove these pop rivets by drilling them out. Alternatively, if you've already removed them previously, you can add bolts in there, like the this exhaust is done, to allow you to change the packing. Alright, this is the last bolt I'm removing from the packing. Once you remove that, you pull your stinger out, like so. Carefully check your stinger because occasionally they can break after wear and tear, especially around the top area. Grab some needle nose pliers, twist your matting up, and slowly pull. There's the matting. Now that we've got our matting out, Slowly roll them up. Doesn't need to be necessarily too tight, but just tight enough so it can roll into here. Twist it back in as so again. Line your holes back up and insert just like that. Put your new box back in and away you go. I recommend to do this approximately every 10 hours. Uh, all, the only reason we say this is because it, as it wears, as you can see, this one's not too badly worn. It can create a, a tuning issue after somewhere in that period. 